So I'm currently grinding through some Philips CDU compact disc uninteractive. Put another fucking thing that the CDR is going to yelp at us and refuse to want to play. Well, this is Flintstones. Yabba dabba fucking do not be shit. But you will be because you're on the Philips CDR. I know these that I've been playing, uh, most of them aren't really games or interactive things. CDIs. Um, but the fact is that they're just not interactive. You can't call them interactive, they're just diabolical, even for the time. <laughs> Oh, fucking heart hit my eyes. Jesus. I'm doing a fucking seizure. So it's Flintstones Jetsons Time Warp. Oh, there's a crossover title. Forget your Marvel vs. Capcom. Let's have a bit of Flintstones vs. Jetsons. It's easy to tell George. And yours truly, Fred Flintstone. What? It's the word. Alright, what do we pick here? Choose George. It's got your Fred, on it? Fat slob. Hmm. So. Why couldn't it do like actual animation and not just jagged shit that looks like it was made in Microsoft Paint using only straight lines? Well, diagonal kind of straight lines, I guess. Couldn't you just stay over to the there? Virtual Vacation 3000. Travel the galaxy without ever leaving your home. Select your vacation package now. What? Yellow, red or blue? Congratulations! You have selected the Jupiter Jungle Trek. Our all-inclusive package features... Hey, at least this seems so pretty... Actually kind of interactive so far, you know, it's actually some, uh, some content. I guess if we're going here it's going to take us somewhere else, or at least I hope it is. Yeah, this could have been kind of cool back in the day. There's just not really any kind of obvious direction for it to go you know it's not clear what you're supposed to do if you are actually supposed to do anything hey oh grot bags i love you george yeah you funny is that it What's on here? Is it some Sega Mega Drive or some George, Super Nintendo? Here. Gee, it looks like it's hey, I'm not George, and I don't need a shank. My face always looks this way. So you just go around with Fred Flintstone pressing buttons. Something eventually happens. Wow, disco tech. XX is that the porno button? Hope it is. Mm, it's not working at the moment. Hello, my 
joystick. Something's supposed to be there. The planet G Bush 4 has been destroyed. There was no life on the planet, just the Earth's supply of broccoli. Blow up again then. The planet you laugh to has been destroyed. There was no life on the planet. Just the Earth supply of cartoons. <laughs> Just kidding. Sheesh, for a second there I thought I was out of a job. So it's got some humour and whatever on it, but I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to do here. Can you change to George, whatever his name is? is it George Jetson? I don't know, someone said George. Um so what's this here? Is that a map? So it looks like basically Fred's been chucked into George's universe and George's been chucked into Fred's universe. It does seem kind of slick. Um, Yeah, the game runs pretty, uh, pretty smoothly. It's not super slow. Yeah, it's almost like an interactive cartoon. If it weren't for the, uh, I'll say the Microsoft Paint visuals. Crocs, look out! I'd like to see that. Can't go there, can I? Hmm. I wonder why they call it the giggling. It blows up. Douchebag. <laughs> About the fucking Flintstone mobile. Have a bit of that. Yeah, Grand Theft boulders on people. Run them all over. And start the garage of sorts. Wonder what this does. Nice. It's supposed to be a set of golf clubs. Well, obviously bones, but yeah, oh no. What's the point in that? Um, I assume that's the garage that you were in there. Them things. So, um, yes. Uh, it's easy to make a painting. Just big picture of. Oh, they love the fucking bollocks, don't they, on these CDI games? They were thinking that the Sega Mega CD or Sega CD, depending on where you come from, was a fucking pile of shit. And then you've got the Philips CDRs, just a whole, whole other level of dross. I think um, I'm going to end it on this this note. Um, I mean, this one isn't bad. Um, I imagine as a kid, I'd have been kind of impressed with this. Um, it doesn't look that bad. Uh, it plays pretty kind of slickly for, um, you know, what it's trying to achieve. So, certainly, you know, it feels like an interactive cartoon and, you know, obviously that's what it's going for. So, it doesn't seem that bad, to be honest. I've obviously played worse on CDI.